Welcome to the Steam Lodge. Today, I'm actually gonna be doing a more in-depth video looking at Witcher 3 and how you can get it locked, basically solid 60 FPS on the Steam Deck. And this is through the usage of FSR and actually going into the game configuration files and messing with the resolution a bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run around here in the city a little bit. Velen's relatively small, but it's still a pretty good representation of what you might see in the game with some uh, NPCs around the map. So you can see we're getting a few frame drops here and there, but in my experience, The Witcher 3 has some streaming issues and those, uh, those frame drops probably aren't too noticeable when you're playing in handheld mode. And this game might look a little blurry right now if you're on a big screen, but trust me when I say in handheld mode, this looks pretty damn solid. The biggest problem with it is that the text can get a little fuzzy, but honestly, it's totally feasible to do, and if you want the trade-off for a pretty solid 60 FPS versus getting a 30 FPS, I'll take the slightly fuzzy text. Battery life-wise, you can probably get two and a half hours if you turn your screen brightness down a little bit on a full charge. So, right now we're running the game at medium settings, if we go in here. And the reason that I'm making this video to explain how to do this is because if you actually want to go into The Witcher 3 and drop the resolution, the lowest resolution you can hit is 1024 by 768 I'm pretty sure this is a 4x3 resolution, and if I hit this resolution and back out now, you're going to see the game's actually going to update, and it's not looking like it was before. We are still using FSR, and the game is a little bit sharper than it was because it's running at a higher resolution, but... It is obviously an incorrect aspect ratio, and if you're on something like the Steam Deck that has a small screen, you want to use all the screen real estate that you have. So, if we go back to the settings here, we can check the other resolutions. And the other resolutions are just 1280 by 720 and 1280 by 800, which is the native aspect ratio you'd want for the Steam Deck. But you can also just go for a 16 by 9 resolution and have very small black bars on the Steam Deck, which is what a lot of people like to do. And some games don't even support 16x10 resolutions. So what we're going to be doing essentially is dropping this game down to a 960x540 resolution, which is you can think of in the 16x9 aspect ratios as the first step down from 720p. You see here, I'm in 720p, and let me turn off FSR because it's not really doing that much for us at this point at this resolution. You can see that the frame rate we're getting now is definitely not what it was before. We're dropping below 60 here and there, and even if you drop the settings down to about low quality, you're still going to get frame drops pretty far below 60, running around like 50, you know, 55 FPS, and you can tolerate that, but if you want that locked 60 FPS, definitely going to want to use the guide that I'm going to lay out here for you. So let's jump into desktop mode and go over those settings. Hey, so we're in desktop mode now, and the first thing you're going to do is go to the Discover Store here, and you're going to want to search for an application such as Visual Studio Code. Now, VS Code is just one application that you can use. You use a bunch of other text editors you can use. I'm a software engineer. I like Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, so that's just what I use, and I'm very familiar with them. So once that's installed, you get an application that looks something like this. It's pretty easy. It's like a more elaborate text editor for people that aren't familiar. So the next thing you're going to want to do is if you go over to Firefox here or whatever web browser you're using, we're just using the Steam Deck to record this, go to SteamDB. And this is actually going to be a really helpful website to use if you're trying to mess with configuration files for the Steam Deck. Next, look for The Witcher 3. Right here. Okay, so Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So this is going to be useful for us. The reason this is useful is because Steam saves some of the data in this app ID folder. So knowing the actual app ID of the Witcher 3 is going to help us from having to hunt through the folders guessing and everything. The other useful website you can look up is PC Gaming Wiki. And we'll just go Witcher 3 also. And this is going to show you just a bunch of a wealth of information. And some of the things that we're actually interested in right now is where we can modify this game's resolution. And right here it tells us if we go to user profile, documents, the Witcher 3 user settings with a text editor, Visual Studio Code in our case, 
we can update the resolution. But if we go here and look in the documents, you can see this folder is empty. This is going to be for a lot of Steam games. Things aren't going to be in here because we're in Linux, we're not in Windows. That's how things are stored for the Windows versions of the game. And while we are running the Windows version through a compatibility layer, which is Proton, they are saved slightly differently. So the first thing you're going to want to do, actually, is go ahead and go to this folder that you can't see here normally. So if you go ahead and hit um, a mark like this, and then do a slash, and then do dot .local, you can go ahead and jump into this dot .local folder. And then go enter, and you're in there. Next, go to the share folder, and then go to the Steam folder. In here, there's a bunch of stuff. So Steam apps, you can go in there, but the one that we're interested in right now is Yeah, we're actually interested in the Steam apps, uh, my bad. And then go to Compat Data. Okay, here's where the website we brought up was actually going to come in handy. So let me get these side by side so we can check this out just to make it easy for viewers. So we have the app ID of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt right here, which is 292030. Uh, so if we look over here on the right side, boom, right there. This is The Witcher 3. Next, go in this PFX folder and then Drive C. So this is essentially gonna be like how the Windows side of things is now. This looks a lot more familiar for used to the Windows side of things here. So now go to users and we're the Steam user. And this looks exactly like a Windows setup if you're familiar with it. So now we go to my documents and there it is, The Witcher 3, just like we saw for the PC Gaming Wiki article where it told us where we could modify the resolution on a Windows machine. So now go ahead and go to user settings and open that up with your text editor of choice. We're gonna hop it into Visual Studio Code here. And the line we're gonna be looking for is the resolution right here. We're gonna also want to set full screen mode to one according to the article from PC Gaming Wiki. As you can see right here, I haven't tried messing with this to see if you can run it in full screen mode or not, but borderless seem to be fine. But we're gonna go ahead here and type in 960 by 540. This is quarter HD resolution. And the great thing about this too, you know, the great thing about the Steam Deck is it's a PC. So if you want to, you could try to mess around with some weird resolutions between 960 by 540 and 720p to see if you can get a little bit more sharpness out of The Witcher 3 um, before going up to 720p where it really can't lock that 60 FPS very well. So now just go ahead and save this. So file, save. And now all you do is just close everything down that was here and jump back into gaming mode and your Witcher 3 game should be ready to go.